Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video, I will show you how you can protect your website using Certificate Manager and Let's Encrypt Certificate Authority. In the last video, we have deployed two applications, Hello World 1 and Hello World 2 inside the Kubernetes cluster. Now, what about securing the connection between your application and outside the world? That's why TLS comes into the picture. TLS use a certificate to provide a security, authentication and integrity for communication. Now to implement a TLS and secure our website, we are going to use a certificate manager. Certificate manager easily manage a certificate and life cycle of the certificate. As well as we are going to use a let's encrypt certificate authority which will provide a, a free SSL and TLS certificate. Now to install the certificate manager, I am going to use Helm chart and uh, after that we are going to uh, we are going to configure the let's encrypt certificate authority. So let me open my Kubernetes cluster and install the certificate manager. So here let me open my terminal first and let's quickly check. So kubectl get nodes okay great and uh, this is my kubernetes cluster where we have deployed hello world 1 and hello world 2 application okay now let's install the certificate manager so for that Helm is install certificate manager. We are going to provide the namespace version and uh, install CRD. So here you can see in the website also. So here you can go with this Helm repo. First for, for if uh, first of all you have to add the repo, uh, and after that you want to, you you want to install the Helm com uh, Helm command to install the certificate manager. So let me first install the certificate manager. Now here you can see certificate manager v1.12 has been deployed successfully. So let's quickly check. So go here and here you can see certificate manager is now installed 54 seconds ago. Now here you can read also. Now in order to being issue a certificate you will need to set up a cluster issuer or issuer resource for example be by creating a let's encrypt staging issuer so let's now create the issuer so for that i have already uh, create the yaml file so this is my yaml file so let's quickly copy go here and create the issuer yes now you you can see here cluster issuer let's encrypt PROD successfully created okay now here you can see uh, if you want to see certificate manager and go to the issuer sorry cluster issuer and here you can see let's encrypt dash PROD issuer is created successfully now what we have to do uh, currently our application support HTTP port so now we want to uh, create a certificate and we need to configure inside the ingress controller so for that I have already created the ingress file and here you can see let me copy and paste it so now here and let me open my existing file so go to ingress so here you can see the difference between these two files. So here only I have added this annotation uh, beta. Okay, so let me copy this one certificate.yaml. Yes. So now here you can see I have added one annotation certificate manager.io certificate issuer let's 
encrypt. Now we have given the let's encrypt PROD. So let me change this name. And here I have add the TLS protocol host and give the my application name and certificate name. Okay, so here you can see the TLS and host name are not provided in an existing file. So now I am going to overwrite it. So let's quickly overwrite, click create. Yes, so now my file is overwrite successfully. So let's quickly check. Yes, now here you can see certificate manager cluster issuer let's encrypt PROD and uh, my host is this like as demo this so let's quickly do one thing uh, in this IP address public IP address let's configure the DNS name so open this public IP address go to the configuration and here a case demo is there great now let's quickly open our website. So for that, let me go lens. Let me copy this. And let me paste here. Yes. Now here you can see earlier our website, uh, we, are, we are using the HTTP protocol. Now it's a HTTPS protocol. Connection is secure. Certificate is valid and here you can see it's a let's encrypt certificate. By default, the let's encrypt certificate provides a six month validity and it will automatically re re renew after the six months. So uh, using the certificate manager and let's encrypt authority, you can configure your website uh, and you can provide the valid certificate. Uh, that's it for now. In the next video, we are going to configure the Prometheus and Grafana in Azure Kubernetes cluster. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.